lights on. So, um, I've already played this. Not quite far. Fine, I'll be starting a new game. Okay, sure. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the Rasko broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Yeah, I, You're just I being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh. I'll finish I'm dinner. take my daughter to bed. After telling you a creepy story like that, I gotta find some way to calm her down. <laughs> it's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. I'm not gonna make, make a big deal of walking around the house and all that. can explore the house that lives here. Obviously, not everything has stuff in it. But there are stuff. There, there. Draws it's like I said house. to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Let's quickly get you in the bed, little Rose.
Try to do a deep clean before Rose no starts walking around. That is embarrassing. I'm walking to the wrong room. Almost there, honey. Keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. All right, let's quickly go back down and talk to my wife. She is very scary when she's angry. For those who don't know, this is a continuation of Resident Evil 7. After the effects of that, this is the obviously next in the game series lore thingy. Um, and this continues our lives. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's Chuba de la Gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Fun time. Mia, get down! Mia! <laughs> Oh, God! Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey doc. hey, doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. No problem. We'll, be we'll be there. That was the, that doc. Was the doc. She'll see She'll us see next week. week. Hey, now. Think positively, positively all right? right? We, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly, we hardly talk, talk about anything about else. else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well then, what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine, I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! 
You matter. You just Mia. Want. What are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Yikes. That's a big oof on your end, Senor Ethan. My little angel. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. What the hell happened here? Let's go to get out of the snow. Save for the streaming. Save. The stream. I'll be working on another save for the. Um, Awkward silence of Resident Evil, none of us gives good vibes. So, um, yeah, this game never gives out good vibes. Why I'm not talking much is because I'm on Xbox. The voice. 
voice in the game. What do you like to say overlay? That's why I don't know. What's it all this? You'd be surprised, Ethan. So it was just night time before and I didn't spend that long in the um in the basement. So there's an evil time frame as well. This whole game is just a bunch of messed up. But hey, it's fun. Where the hell am I? The castle away. <laughs> Remember this horse for a little bit later on. Maybe they're out? Yeah, maybe they're out. Maybe they're out. See you through that window that the horse is moved. And when I go out the front door, the horse is getting dragged away. Never to be seen again. What happened? I'm not gonna bother exploring for this first bit because we end up going back here a little later. Because this game is just massively connected. So we end up going back to this area multiple times. Did they just run out of the house? That would make sense. Why does it look like jealous of them? Ah! No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Dead body? Nah, I thought he was alive. Wait, there's more. Get 20 shots. A little bit disappointed. Let's move you out of the way. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. What the Let's hell is wrong with this place? Hold on, someone just hit me something. I forgot about that. Now I gotta survive. I'm 
not a snack. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the, sh the shotgun early. Everyone that I've seen a voice just gone past it. Let's go do that. First, let's unlock this. So, even though you see the hostiles there, they don't attack. Luckily. You wanna run in here. Okay, that's why I have more time. Damn it. Gunpowder. There's other stuff right here. Herb. There is. I uh, used flowers and barricades. Hang gun ammo there. Alright, let's hit down. Can I craft some? No, I haven't unlocked the blueprint. Not those anyway. There's no end to them. Dude, have I triggered big dude yet? I need to trigger the big dude. You're kidding me. All right, we're on the right track. Big dude been sum be summoned. Check a lady.
cutscene. He throws me pretty far. He throw me very far. I just focused on life. Get to the cutscene. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? <laughs> Alright, I used up way much more ammo than what I wanted to. There's a note there. I need a flesh apart. Rada, rada, rada. That's a lockpick that we can't get into. I can come here and get this gem. <coughs> oh, okay. So all the collectibles won't be here because it's still the exact same. Alright. Well, that sucks. The Maiden's Crest. Here's a safe point. Let's go to safe point.
What are you doing here? Stay back. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. Shit, we're setting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. Must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. It's clear. Hurry, hurry. Took your damn time. Oh, you're welcome. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get Let's inside. Let's put a bullet in his brain. Please. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up! It's me, Elena! Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters! Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. <laughs> Father, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. I'll take. Oh, here, yeah, let's quickly save. Before I can save. My Xbox is a little slow at all this, which is understandable, but it's only a one ears. But it's doing good. This way. Let's go. <laughs> Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Right, <laughs> Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left? All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid? A stupid, wailing bitch! And you! You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! 
Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. For him. For all of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Now, the tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. That prayer, I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. <laughs> you mean that hag? <laughs> um, bitch is crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> already gone. Leave me alone. No, we're getting out of here. Together. All right, because there's nothing in here. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. It's... I want to hear. Grab everything get out of here. Like the lay that's in here. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Don't fact check me. Shoddy. <coughs> oh, what's up? It's a herb. Damn, the fire's moving fast. What are you 
you thinking? Step back. We can bust out with this. Back up again. The fire. There isn't any time. No more to go, but up. Let's go. Grab on. Hurry. Let's move. Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> you're kind. Of attack, but I hope your family is safe. I... <gasps> Come on, it'll hold. <sighs> there, that's our way out. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but what then? The village is still full of monsters. We can't fight them, there's too many! Hey, hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No, that place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? Elena, no, that's not him, not anymore. <laughs> he said my name, Father! Wait, it's not safe! <laughs> 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 Stay there! Come on! Give me your hand! Ethan, go! Save your daughter! Elena! Don't give up! Reach for me! God damn it! Why is everyone dying on me? I don't know, man. I ask myself that question every day. It's just too much. I just don't get it. This place is going mad. Why? No the way. Fuck is this happening again? Language. <sighs> Shit. What did I just say, Mister Mister Winters? I said language. Control your temper. <sighs> That was completely the incorrect. That was completely incorrect, and I hate myself for trying to uh, trying to do it. Let's go save real quick. 
Nothing but blood and death. Huh? Well, well. Didn't think anyone was left. You must be pretty tough. Huh. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. <laughs> Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> The man is of no real use to anyone else, and my daughters do so love uh, entertaining foreigners. Uh, Furthermore, I can show them to entrust the mortal to have stayed lost. My daughters and I will deliver them. Get out of the way, ugly! I want to see! <laughs> He's awake! Mother, shut the fuck up! What? Where? You mean you'll screw around with him in private, and where's the fun in that? Give him to me. And I'll put on a show that everybody can enjoy. Oh, so gauche. What do we care for bread and circuses? The man thing's suffering is assured. Yeah, gag, gag. If the man's dick is cut off in the castle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I've heard all your arguments. Some of you were less persuasive than others, but I've made my decision. Heisenberg, the man's fate is in your hands. Mother Miranda, I must protest. Heisenberg is but a child, and his devotion to you is questionable. Give the mortal to me, and I will ensure he is ready. Shut your damn hole! And don't be a sore loser! You'll find your food somewhere else. Quiet now, child. Adults are talking. I'm the child. You're the one who's arguing with Miranda's decision. You wouldn't know responsibility if it was well Oh, to keep drawing! One day your head might actually fit your ego! Fight, 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 hey, don't fight, I get a say in this? Silence! <laughs> My decision is final. There will be no argument. Remember from whence you came. Thank you. Fuck off, Isaac. Huh. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for winning. And now let the games begin. Of course, it sucks ass. It's the beginning of the game. Let's see what you have. Ethan. Get ready. No way! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Time. Here we go. Jesus Christ! That's right. He won't save you now. For your life. Very nice, Ethan. <laughs> no! no.
truly are as strong as they strong say. As they say. Oh, you didn't think I'd let you get away. Gotta keep Donna and Moreau entertained. So now it's time for the beautiful, blood-soaked grand finale. Ha ha ha! The American ground beef! Ha 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 ha! How did none of those spikes hit me? I still don't understand that. Too close. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? Let's get my guns back. Now we can continue third. Without being rolled to death by mechanical objects, they have just somehow managed to play around. If you want a quick achievement, shoot one of these crows. You get a you get an achievement for hunting an animal or something like that. Since I've already played on first and gotten quite far, it doesn't show up on my some leaf bird. Like I said, I don't know if that's incorrect, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. And now we meet the dude. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Seeking something in particular? I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for your patronage! Be here. Castle Timber to ask. I just gotta stop trying to say it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save here and this is gonna be it for number one. Next one will show the um next cutscene and whatnot. Um, I would like to thank you all for watching. Um, I don't know when I'll be streaming next. I have a very inaccurate streaming schedule. Um, but with all that, thank you for watching and uh, 